now that I'm noticing like there's the four of you, right? Like you and Le Lydia, you're also there in case, and who knows, maybe this has happened on the show, in case, not like a fight, but if there's a serious disagreement or things get really tense, it's not just two people. I'm on one, someone's on one side and someone's on the other side. It's like, okay, you and Lydia are there to be like mediate. If there's an awkward moment, you can step in. Like if, if no one, I've never seen this happen, but if no one really has anything to say, like you're there, Lydia's there to like pick it up. Um, ha have you ever felt like that's been something that, that happened? Like there was a tense moment and, and you guys were there to kind of like talk about DMT. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about drugs. hundred percent. Yeah. I, uh, fortunately Tim's so good at communicating that it very rarely ever breaks down. I mean, the show's like a bunch of master commuter or like expert communicators. Like if Tim stops and gets up to go get a drink or something, I'll just start talking. I've been doing this for. Uh, over a decade. So I, I, it's pretty seamless when you just start flowing with your ideas. And then every once in a while, Tim, like uh, we did an after show with Dave Smith, you know, Dave, I love Dave. Yeah. Amazing dude. And I want to talk to him about the federal reserve. So Tim was like, I'm going to go watch uh, TV. He just didn't, he was tired. It was like a Friday. Wow. He to do. So he just, me and Dave, I just interviewed Dave and it was great. Um, I think the balance, the anchor, cause you know, as a host, you can fly and you can go pretty fast, but if you don't have an anchor, you know, you can get lost. So I'm kind of like a return to center anchor. Like if things get too wacky, I'll talk about the federal reserve or graphene or free software or DMT. Yeah. Some of you know, the important stuff. Graphene is, um, it's a, it's carbon. It, it's pure carbon. It's just uh hexagonally lat latticed carbon. So it looks like a, f and it's one layer of atoms. So it's one layer thick of atoms. Is the insert you put in a mechanical pencil. That's graphite, <laughs> graphite. Okay. And the way they found graphene was by uh, the, some researchers in like 2001 at scotch tape had, had attached some graphite and they peeled it off. And then they looked at it under a microscope and it had formed into graphene, a layer of graphene. Wow. And it's, it's got incredible properties. It's, it's like electrically conductive. It is a capacitor so it can store energy. It's um, flexible. It's, it's deformable like paper. It's in the right format it's stronger than steel like you can alloy it with things uh, also to have other properties um they were alloying it with aerogel this really lightweight material to make water filtration out of it cool it, it, it will be the future of construction 21st century steel and wood will will probably not be used as much in the future and i think the the because i mean you can have like touch screen wallpaper with it you can have clothing made out of it that's like touch screen computer Capacity like just like, change your outfit, like boom. Yeah, change the color, change everything, like a like a screen and um, solar powered. You know, it can store body heat. It's 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 amazing. So they're figuring out how to pr produce it right now in a cheap, effective, mass way. What can you do with it right now, or is it not there yet? You can use water filtration. That's a, a water okay, desalination. Yeah. They're experimenting with. Uh, apparently, it's it's great at that. Um, and what else is graphene used for right now? I think it, they use it in clothing a lot right now, but it's not, they haven't figured out how to make like capacitive battery storage out of it in your clothing yet that I know of. Wow. It's, it's like when, uh, when Black Panther gets hit and he like stores up all the energy and then he like, -ah! like yeah. it's somebody back with it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm deeply into piezoelectricity. I'm, I'm excited about that. That's like friction. Ooh, motion okay. causing heat which is stored as electricity that sounds sexual to me but maybe yeah, i'm just taking it there it's it's both mm -hmm. 